Exantis, author of Crock-Pot Love. And if you've reached this far in the book, I am so excited that you have taken the time to invest in yourself and hopefully you have great gained a wealth of information on love and just how to access and keep and create it so that you can go forward and actually have the love that you so rightfully deserve. Now we are actually in one of my favorite parts of the book, which is when we get a chance to speak with the creme de la creme, what I consider to be the creme de la creme of crock pot love. Uh, right now we are here with Minister Black and his lovely, beautiful wife, mm -hmm. sister, Celia Black. And I'm so thankful that they invited me into their home because I'll tell you a quick little story before we get into their interview. One of the things that Minister Black came and told my husband and I just before our wedding is that when you keep God in the middle of your relationship, every day is a honeymoon. And when I tell you, you were absolutely right when Amen. you said that. And I am so thankful that you gave us that little nugget because we do that. Amen. We pray daily, in the morning and at night, and like I was telling you, and we just, we just really got to keep it together. So without further ado, I just want to say thank you all, and we'll go ahead and get started Amen. with our interview, mm -hmm. um, which our topic is keeping God in the middle. Okay. Okay. And I know that since I've known the two of you, you have both exhibited just a wonderful, positive relationship by the way that you love each other, the Amen. way that you love God, and it's just really a beautiful thing to see, and I feel blessed to have been Amen. a witness of it. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started with the first question. Um, how did the two of you meet? How long did, have you been together? Well, uh, well, I'm thinking back and sitting here now, I can say that God had ordained Bernard and I to be together because I can't honestly say that we met, we've known each other since the second grade. Wow. Way back um, in 76. Yes, wow. and wow. we went to school together. We lived in the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I could say back in 1989, our paths crossed again. Wow, that's awesome. So um, I can't pretty much particularly say that we met, you know, on a particular day mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. We've just been uh knowing each Just other for a very 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 mm -hmm. very long time awesome and the, and the blessing of it is because i always knew she was going to be my wife that's amazing I always knew it was just something about her that's that amazing. i was so attracted to wow and i even shared that with her brother i'm like one day i'm gonna marry your sister oh and he would be like no no you're not i said one day that's gonna be my wife wow amen that's awesome yes. amen mm -hmm. amen to that so another question is for, and this is for each of you, you know, the title of the book is Crock-Pot Love, and I kind of compare that to what I consider microwave madness. For those of who have been reading the book, um, they know that, you know, microwave madness is that kind of love that it's not really, you know, and you know how it is when you purchase, it, like, yeah. yeah, it's quick. When you get a microwave meal, you know, who wants to come home to a microwave dinner every day? Exactly. <laughs> Nobody. Exactly. So it's like, I compare that to crock pot love, you know, how you select the ingredients that you want to go in it, you let okay. it simmer, mm -hmm. and you ultimately make it what you want it. When did the two of you know you were done with snacks, you was done with microwave meals, you knew that <laughs> you were you two were each other's crock pot love. When did you know that? I wouldn't well, answer. Go okay. ahead, go. You can go first. I knew that when uh, I found out that my wife had my back. And, you know, in a relationship, you got to have each other back. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and when she showed me that she had my back and that she would be there for me, mm -hmm. that's what I needed in life. Someone that was going to be right there on the side of me and help me through anything that I'm going through. And Amen. she was there. And, and I was like, wow. I said to myself, she's a keeper. Amen. Amen. You know, because Amen. when you find somebody that got your back like that, Amen. you know, it's, it's kind of hard to find people like that. But when you find that one, you say, hey, it's a keeper. It don't get no better than it that. It don't get no better It surely that. does not. That's it don't awesome. get no better than That's that. amazing. Amen. Well, for me, um, again, and I have to, I have to, uh, Think about where I am now and then reflect on the past mm -hmm. and where I am now I realized that we had what you call crock-pot love mm -hmm. um, knowing that 
way back then when we had no interest in one another, you know, in mm-hmm. this kind of way at all. And then to this, to come to this point, I know God was in the midst of mm-hmm. it all. Amen. So all I had to do was be submissive to him. Mm-hmm. And I honestly believe when you find someone that, I think it's the spirit. I don't think it's the flesh. I don't think two Mm -hmm. people have anything to do with it. But I believe our spirit agrees. And when I realized that we, our spirit agreed, then I knew then that this was my soulmate. Wow. That's powerful. You know, and I just, I I can't do anything to make him love me anymore Mm -hmm. or any less. It's just that, you know, God placed in us that spirit, his spirit, Mm -hmm. And and I just knew. And and, awesome. and the beauty of it is because that time I wasn't even saved. Mm. You see, God He always prepares for what He has yes, for he us. Does. Mm-hmm. Yes, He does. And see, and, and as we was growing up together, and then we started dating. Then we had a chance to learn each other. Mm-hmm. Amen. Different That's avenues, right. her ways, my ways. Mm-hmm. And then once <clears throat> Christ came into it, yes, it just just opened up opportunities. Just blossom. Yes. Wow. It was a blessing. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to capitalize on something that you said about how, you know, just keeping God in it. And mm-hmm. that was pretty much what kind of ordained the beauty of your yes. relationship. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much what we're talking about here. Um, so I want to ask a question. Apart from being totally in love with each other, what has keeping God in the middle of your relationship done for your marriage? Wow. A lot. Yes. A uh, lot. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I believe that when you come to know God, God has to be the center of your life. And if God is the center of your life, then he has to be the center of your relationship because he's in my life. So, you know, my life is his life. We're as one. So by him being in the center, I mean... That, it's, it's so special because God teaches us how to love. Yes, he does. God shows unconditional love. <laughs> so once he starts showing you love and you build that relationship with God, then you aim to please him. Yeah. Amen. And that when you're able to please him, him, then you're able to please your wife, your spouse. You see, because God is love. Then he teaches yeah. you how to love one another. Amen. You can hear his voice yeah. speaking to you. Yeah. Okay. I don't care what's going on in this marriage. Y'all gonna, it's going to work out. Everything going to be okay because I'm going to use you for my glory. Mm. Amen. So Amen. Wh- whatever we do is for him. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because Amen. let that be said, we wouldn't be sitting here today in this interview because of that. Because it's all about him. Yes, it is. And I'm Amen. telling you, I got to be honest. When I even set out to write this book, I, you know, there was a few couples that came to mind. And I have to be honest, you were one of the first, the two of you that Amen. came to my to mind my as far as, you know, what a positive, loving representation of a godly marriage, a God-centered Amen. marriage that is actually working where people still like each other and love yes. each other mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. so many mm-hmm. years, you mm-hmm. know, because for some people, that true love is elusive. Right. You know, right. maybe, oh, that's for some people or for select few people who have that. Mm-hmm. It's for whoever seeks it right. and whoever seeks him first. First. Right. If I'm you're like, seeking mm-hmm. him first, he's going to just direct your path right. to that which you right. are looking for. That is, you know, representative right. of him and your love for him. And you, yes. the two of you certainly embody that. So thank you. I feel very blessed to have, to God be the glory. you know, you know, had a great yeah. witness mm-hmm. of that. And yeah. I, you know, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. and I was going <clears> to <throat> say too, because Bernard always says that um, it's not the marriage is the people in the marriage. That's the right. marriage doesn't go, go astray or the marriage is not bad or good. It's the people that make up the marriage. Yes. And, you know, you have to be mindful mm-hmm. of one another. You yes. have to be respectful. You know, I think that's a big oh, part. Yes. That's you huge. know, you have to learn one another, mm-hmm. you know, and just, and just, you know, give your best. And when you give your best, you can't expect for nothing less in return. And that is so true because when you fall in love with God, when you fall in love with Him, you aim to please Him. That's right. And you got to have that relationship with God for everything to work out. You Absolutely. see, a lot of people, they know of God, but do they really know Him? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's different when you know of Him. 
because I knew of him when I wasn't saved. Mm -hmm. You see, but now I know him because what he has done to me in my life. Yes. And I can sit back and see the blessings. Wow. Amen. Mm -hmm. The house we're living in. I can see the blessing. Everything we wanted in this house, yes. it was here before we even got here. Wow. Everything mm -hmm. from the outdoors to the inside. Wow. And it was a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. See, God opened up opportunities when he got a, a, a couple together that is married. Mm -hmm. And we weren't even saved then. But he was working with us then. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when he came into our life, it just made it like a honeymoon. Amen. Every day. Amen. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> Praise God for that. Amen. <laughs> so question I have mm -hmm. for um, Sister Celia. What advice can you offer other women? Because this book is, anybody can read it, but it's more so geared and catered towards women. Okay. Um, so what advice can you offer other women who seek to have a great marriage, such as the one that you and Bernard have had for, what would you say, is it 18 yes. years? Yes, 18, 18 years? years. 19 this year. 19 this yeah. year. Wow. But been together 25. And been together 25. That's awesome. Um, the advice that I would give, um, the advice that I take for myself is mm -hmm. I don't consider this to be a marriage. I consider this to be a gift from God. God. Because when you can find someone, when the Lord bless you with someone who knows you and who caters to you, then it's only a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something, um, I haven't even shared this with you, but it's something that Bernard does that just, it, 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 it just makes me fall in love with him all over again when he does it. In the mornings, he leaves before me real early mm -hmm. and he calls back to the house to just make sure everything is okay or whatever. Yeah. And we, you know, everything's fine. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the conversation, it usually goes like, oh, okay, well, have a good day. He'll say, have a good day. And he'll say, God bless you. Oh, that's beautiful. And to me, it's like, beautiful. you know, when you think of a marriage, you think, okay, this is my husband. I'm his wife. Some marriages, you, you you lose your individuality, you know, but when yes. he says, God bless you, then to me it's like, okay, I see you as a God-fearing woman, you mm -hmm. know, a, you, you're your own person, so yes. I'm asking God to pour blessings on you. Praise God. Awesome. So, and that just that touches beautiful. my heart. Wow, you know? that just touched my heart. Wow. You sharing that. That's awesome. That is <laughs> so beautiful. I, I just consider, you know, our relationship a gift from God and if it comes from God I have to take care of it Absolutely. I have to nurture it I have to give it my best yes. so to you know to answer your question you know be submissive to God mm -hmm. read your Bible know what he expects of a godly woman and a godly wife mm -hmm. and everything will work out in the end Absolutely. praise God, mm -hmm. praise God. that's wow. a beautiful answer and it's so true and so real mm -hmm. and like how you say you mm -hmm. know it's a blessing that God the marriage that you have is a blessing that God has given you yes. and I gotta say it's a blessing just to witness it I know I keep Amen. saying that but it is true Amen. it is true because you know we need positive examples right. especially in our community right. too of you know God fearing mm -hmm. wonderful marriages yeah. and so I'm just so thankful that you know, we crossed paths. However, I don't remember the first day I met you all, but I know it's been a while that I've known him from church. Amen. And it's just been always, Amen. always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Um, okay, and so the last question is for you, Minister Black. As a husband, what has Celia becoming your wife meant to you all of these years? And okay, it's a two part question. So, what has her becoming your wife meant to you all these years, and how has your love and respect for her enhanced your life as a man? Wow, I know it's a loaded question. <laughs> no, that's that's awesome. <laughs> what she meant to me, yes, for all these years, the world, Amen. because she makes my life complete. The oh. things that I don't know, she knows. And she helped me in so many different areas in my life. And it just makes me feel complete. And mm -hmm. the patience that she has for me. Wow, you know, because awesome. we, you know, we know none of us perfect. Mm -hmm. But she takes all my faults. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. just stirred all in together to make things better. Mm 
you know, because she don't sit back and judge me for who I am. Amen. Wow. You know, she don't judge me for anything. And I thank God for her because sometimes you get in a relationship, you can come from a family that don't show love. That's true. And then you can come to this relationship with your guards up. That is and true. And don't know how to love. Very true. You see? Mm -hmm. But when you find some when, when God placed somebody in your life and, and help teach you how to love, mm -hmm. it's a blessing. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. It really, really is. It's a blessing. Wow. And that's what she showed me how to love. Mm -hmm. Because I was in this, at the beginning, I had my guards up. Yes. Even though I was doing all the things I was supposed to be doing, but I still had my guards up. Right, right. You know. Amen. But the Lord said, son, surrender. Yes. Relax. <laughs> you can relax. Yes. Amen. You're in the company that mm -hmm. has been predestined for you to be in. Yes. Yeah. So. And I, and I thank God. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So your love and respect for her, how has that enhanced just your life as a man? Like the love it, and it, respect that you have for her. It just, the love and respect I have for her as a man, it's, it just let me know that I have some woman inside of me that is holy, mm -hmm. a God-fearing woman that yes. loves the Lord, that yes. I don't have anything to worry about. You know, I can go to bed at night and I can rest. Mm -hmm. I won't have to toss and throw because it gave me peace because I know she aiming to please God. Mm -hmm. And by her aiming to please God, that just make me feel a lot better as a man. Amen. You know, and it makes That's me want to go out and provide for her. That's because powerful. I'm I'm God placed me over her to protect mm -hmm. her. I and see. it taught me how to, to stay focused and do the right thing that I have to do in life to continue to show her that I am the man that God placed me to be in her life. Amen. That is amazing. And I thank you so much again for inviting me in your home and sharing your story. I know I already know going in that this is gonna this story is gonna bless so many people. Amen. And it's Amen. going to inspire people to just believe in love all over again. Praise God. And so I'm I'm really thankful. And so there you have it, guys. Um Crock Pot Love. This is Minister Black and his lovely wife, Celia Black, you know, talking about keeping God in the middle of your relationship, how important that is. And if you just so happen to stumble upon this interview and did not get a chance to get the book, I'm telling you, follow the link below and bless your life. Bless somebody else's life because this book is a game changer. It's a life changer. And I'm telling you, God is doing some amazing things in this world and he's doing some amazing things in love mm -hmm. and make sure that you are a part of it. So go and get the book. And thank you for watching.